This is Dr. Steve with Rockwall CPR and what a save. Let's talk about a slightly different topic and safety in youth sports with regard to lightning and lightning strikes. And could that happen to you? Well, here's a story where a 13 year old boy and a man in his 50s were hit by lightning bolts and rushed to the hospital. This was during a match a soccer match at a school in Great Britain, and it happened. So what about lightning strikes? Is your child's youth sports organization paying attention to this when it happens? Let's see what NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, says about lightning safety. Lightning is one of the most underrated weather hazards. It makes every single thunderstorm a potential killer, whether the storm produces one single bolt or a thousand bolts. Each year in the United States, lightning kills 20 to 30 people and injures hundreds more. So what do you do? Where do you go? The safest location during a thunderstorm is inside a large enclosed structure with plumbing and electrical wiring. If the lightning strikes the building, the plumbing and the wiring will conduct the electricity more efficiently than the human body. If no buildings are available, then an enclosed metal vehicle, such as an automobile, van, school bus, makes a decent alternative. Once inside the building, stay away from these fixtures. If you're inside a vehicle, roll up the windows and avoid contact, contact with any conducting paths like the radios. Where not to go. Buildings which are not safe have exposed openings. Beach shacks, metal sheds that are open, picnic shelters, pavilions, car ports, and baseball dugouts. Porches can be dangerous as well. Convertible vehicles offer no safety from lightning, even if the top is up. What not to do? Lightning can travel great distances through power lines, especially in rural areas. Do not use electrical appliances, especially corded phones, unless it is an emergency call. Don't take a shower. Get out of the water. There must be a lightning safety plan for your outdoor activities. So when you use sports, that means when thunder roars, go indoors and stay inside. So you should stay out of the thunder until and lightning until 30 minutes have elapsed after the last clasp of thunder. We can use a rule called the flash bang method. This technique involves counting the time in seconds between the visible lightning bolt, the flash, and the audible thunder, the bang. Since we know light travels faster than sound, you'll notice a delay. Sound travels at about 1,088 feet per second, or about 0.2 miles per second, depending on air temperature and humidity. So that means it'll take the sound of thunder about five seconds to travel one mile. Five seconds to travel one mile. So the flash to bang distance is calculated seconds between the flash and the bang divided by five. Five seconds is one mile. 10 seconds is two miles. So 10 seconds from the flash to the bang, we divide by five, and that's where you get your two miles. Please educate your administrators, your coaches on lightning. It is a very real threat. Learn more, rockwallcpr.com.